Hey guys, welcome to the FIFA 21 Icon Moments Mark Overmars Player Review. So for this review, I played Overmars in two different positions. I firstly tried him as my left striker and I also played him out wide as a left cam. I used the stay forward while attacking instructions for both the positions and I used him with a dead eye chemistry style. So let's see how this Icon Moments Overmars played for me in Division 1 Rivals gameplay. So straight off the bat, this Overmars card has some explosive pace with a combination of 96 sprint speed and 98 acceleration. And in my opinion, you don't need to apply any chem style to boost his pace further because in-game he feels absolutely rapid and can easily burn defenders, leaving them eating dust. So let's talk about Overmars' finishing and from inside the box, his 5-star weak foot is absolutely lethal. He rarely missed a shot. He has some great finishing attributes with 88 finishing, 85 shot power and 87 composure. So inside the box, he is an absolute predator. You can leave defenders guessing on which side you're going to be able to turn and cut them because of that 5-star weak foot which makes him such an unpredictable player on the box. The only con I had with the shooting was when I was shooting from range outside the box because at times it felt like his shots lacked power and the keeper was easily able to parry and save them although I did score a couple of finesse goals from outside the box but that was few and far between. So if you keep the shooting with Overmars inside the box, it should be absolute lethal for you and it should work wonders. Now, Overmars' passing on either foot was absolutely fine for me. I had no complaints there. He doesn't have any passing range of a KDB or an Iniesta, etc, etc. But if you keep the passing short, it shouldn't be a concern. What I found that he was really good at was his crossing down the wing. So if you take those low dividend crosses with Overmars or if you cross the ball in generally, he's going to deliver some beauties inside the box for your strikers to get their heads on it. So if you play him out wide as a winger, his crossing is absolutely lethal from the wing position. So I'm going to mark his passing overall as a huge pro. Now in terms of the dribbling department, Overmars felt very fluid in the ball and super smooth even in slightly delayed gameplay. He has amazing left stick dribbling and I was very impressed by that, by how quickly he twists and turns and change directions. The only con, and this is a big con with this card, is the three star skill moves. As an attacker, in my opinion, it is necessary to have a minimum of four star skill moves and the three star skill moves for me just kills this card from being a meta card. If this card had four star skill moves, Undoubtedly, he would be one of the best wingers in the game and everyone would be trying to get this guy in their ultimate team because of that 5-star weak foot. So the only con with his dribbling is his 3-star skills but apart from that, he feels absolutely superb on the ball. In terms of his physicality, it wasn't much to show barring his 93 stamina which will last you 90 minutes effortlessly. He has 61 strength and is a very weak player so if he gets caught up by any defender, he will get pushed off the ball because his strength stats are too low. Even with a chem style to boost his strength stats, he won't feel much stronger so you'd rather use a chem style to boost his other attributes. And he also won't win you any headers in the air because he stands at 5'8 and he has some shocking jumping and heading attributes. So overall in the physicality department, he lets you down apart from his 93 stamina. Now, Overmars' attacking AI was also very impressive because it made these constant darting diagonal runs inside the box when I played him as a striker. And as a winger, he made some amazing runs down the line that set him free of the right back that was marking him. So overall, his attacking AI was a constant threat to my opponent's defences because he was incredibly tough for them to mark given that insane speed he has. Now, is this icon moments Overmars worth 1.3 to 1.4 million coins? And in my opinion, he really isn't. A fair value for this card would be anything under 900k simply because there's an abundance of left wingers in this game and if you're planning to use this card out wide, you can pick up many cards for a fraction of the cost which will perform equally as well if not better. The likes of an inform Sadio Mane will perform equally as well if not better because he has that 4 star 4 star combination. You can use Neymar, you can use Marcus Rashford and any of his variants etc. So I don't think 1.4 million coins justifies the value and the quality of player you're getting in game because there are many other options who are equally as good at a cheaper price. So I'm going to rate this Icon Moments over Mars card an 8.9 on 10 because he was an extremely effective striker slash winger even though he has 3 star skill moves that pace and the finishing would just take him through and would make him really effective and I'm also going to give him a value for coins of a 6.5 on 10 
I believe there are better players than him or equally good players than him at a fraction of the cost. So if he falls to 900k, go pick him up because that's much better value for the quality of player you're getting in game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and if you did, please drop a sub on the channel and a like on the video. It would mean the world to me and have a great day ahead guys.